ChatGPT has taken the world by storm as an easy-to-use text-based AI with infinite possibilities. Play around with it for a few minutes and you'll quickly see the many ways that conversations with this AI can go. As with any tool, you can get a different quality of output depending on what you put into it. I'm really excited to show you how you can get better quality results from the AI just by changing the questions you ask it. Following a few simple guidelines can transform the results of your AI conversation from a mostly useless starting point to a fully realized product. No matter what you are trying to accomplish, you can leverage free AI tools both to make your job easier and to get better results from your work. The best part is ChatGPT is a simple tool to use for people without a technical background, and more effective prompts are simple to write. In this course, you'll learn the guidelines for getting the most out of ChatGPT and get resources for writing prompts for specific uses. Then you'll practice refining your prompts to get great results. Are you ready to get started? Throughout the course, we're going to be using ChatGPT. It can be accessed in a browser at chat.openai.com. Create an account or log in with Google or Microsoft. Once logged in, the interface is incredibly simple. Type your question at the bottom and wait for a response. Continue typing to continue the conversation. Old conversations are saved in the sidebar so you can return to them. The desktop app can also be downloaded from the links in the description. You can ask ChatGPT anything and get a response, but what you put in will determine the quality of what you get out. In short, the more detailed your request, the more your results will align with what you want. In many cases, one clear sentence asking exactly what you want is fine. Asking, what could I write in a birthday card for someone I work with? Gives 10 choices. Pick one, you're done. However, in cases where you really care about what you're creating, you'll want to refine the prompt. You can give it instructions about tone, such as cheerful, direct, motivational, etc. Audience. It can write for third graders, college design majors, marketing executives, English language learners, whoever. And goals. Tell it exactly what you want it to achieve. For example, I could tell ChatGPT, generate an exercise on responding to constructive criticism, and I'd get a response. However, I would get a response that is more useful to me if I gave it the prompt, generate an exercise for an office manager that will help them practice responding to constructive criticism. Include both general guidelines and a scenario to work through. Avoid the use of apps or computer programs in the scenario as this manager does not like to use them. The revised prompt gives an audience a purpose instructions on what type of content to include, and a constraint. It will give a more detailed response that is more useful to a specific situation. If you want to use the AI to do a complex task repeatedly, you can keep building and refining the prompt. Specifically, you can use a detailed prompt called a mega prompt to define the AI's role and the output you want. A mega prompt includes all of the following. A role. Define the role of the AI. How would you describe an expert human equivalent? Information about the audience. Who exactly is it aiming the result at? This can include demographics, level of understanding, and types of learners. Goals. What is your strategy or reasoning or specific methods you want to use or avoid? Give it as much context as you can and any constraints you have. An example. 
If you are looking for something specific, you can give it an example. You could even give a non-example and explain why that is not the result you want and what you want instead. A task. Provide clear instructions on what you want the AI to do and how. If you've already given it the role, audience, goals, and example, you would say, using the information above, generate, and then a clearly defined output. Tell the AI how to present the information that it generates. Lastly, a title and topic. If you are using this same role for many outputs, you'll want to give it the topic of each request to use as a title. Here is an example megaprompt. It contains all of the above parts, except I did not provide an example or non-example since it is simply revising paragraphs of text. But by providing the AI with its role, the audience, the goals, task, constraints, and output, I'm likely to get a fairly in-depth response. The mega prompt is, Your job is to revise my writing to be more concise. I will provide several paragraphs of content that will be used on a website marketing to senior citizens. You will make changes to that content. Make each paragraph less wordy without changing the meaning or tone. Do not change the number of paragraphs. Ideally, the length of each piece of content will be decreased by 25%, but must be decreased by 10% or more. You will provide the entire revised content. At the end, you will include a paragraph with a summary of the changes you made. The title of the first topic is Travel Options with Senior Citizen Discount. Even with a mega prompt, you will likely need to refine your ask or remind it of certain constraints. For example, in the first version of that prompt, I told it to write in paragraph form, and so it literally gave me a single paragraph. I revised it to instead say, do not change the number of paragraphs. Yet, in asking for several responses, sometimes it did change the number of paragraphs. And I simply corrected its mistake by saying, you changed the number of paragraphs from four to three, please retain four paragraphs. And it repeated the response with the correct number of paragraphs. As you play around with the AI for your specific purposes, you'll find different phrases that are essential to include to make sure it does exactly what you're looking for. You can find a ton of excellent mega prompts for different purposes at prompts.chat. Use this resource to give you some inspiration about what's possible and how to ask for it. Now a quick class project. Go over to ChatGPT to practice refining your prompt. Ask it to create something while giving it a role. Again, define the role for the AI. How would you describe a human expert equivalent doing this job? A specific audience your goals, an example if you want something specific, clear task instructions, a clearly defined output, and a title and topic for your first task. Upload the screenshot from this assignment as your project. Tell me what surprised you most about the AI's response and how you could refine the prompt further for better results. I hope that you have enjoyed learning about ways that you can adjust your prompts to make AI tools more useful to you. After completing the class project, please leave a review and look for my other courses on this platform. Also, if you enjoy my narration, know that I am available for narrating explainer video, course content videos, and other types of e-learning. Visit my website, scripttospeaker.com, for more information on voiceover services. Here on Skillshare, I have another course on behind-the-scenes uses of ChatGPT for educators. Whether you work in corporate education, college, high school or grade school, or informal teaching, you can use AI tools like ChatGPT to simplify the work you do. From developing your plan through teaching the course to evaluating learners' work, 
you can use it to save time and improve your results at every stage. In that course, we'll go through 12 specific ways an educator can make use of ChatGPT or other similar AI tools.